scene of death, where Major General James Kazin's body lay lifeless, looked like this. <coughs> Although the scene was blocked by police, residents of Namwongo flocked the area to have a glimpse of the body of a man who had earned himself the reputation of a fearless soldier. The reputation was due to elude him as he lived his last hours on earth, dying not from a bar of a gun, but from a beating to his head by a blunt object that left him bleeding profusely. His land cruiser vehicle in Sudanese number plates that he used to get to the house where he met his death was parked at the tragic scene. Major General Kazin is said to have met his death after a quarrel with lady friend Lydia Atim at their residence in Namwongo, a suburb in Kampala. Lydia in her early 20s allegedly hit Kazin on the head with a blunt object and left him bleeding to death. It is still not clear why the two quarreled, but eyewitnesses told NTV that Kazin and Lydia had been friends for a long time, spanning over one year. By the time I arrived, he wasn't dead. The blood was still coming out fresh. So he died almost when it is becoming early morning. Yeah. Now Lydia was unconscious by that time because she wasn't herself. News of Kazin's death spread far and wide and within a short time after his death, senior security officials, including some of his peers, were at the murder scene. Trade Minister Major General Kahindo Tafire, a close friend to the deceased and one of those who bailed him recently during his court martial trial, was among the first people at the scene. The shock of his face was profound. Shortly after Otafire's arrival, Kazin's wife and Inspector General of Police Major General Kale Kaihura also arrived. The body was removed from the scene at around 9.46 a.m. and was transferred to Mlago Hospital for post-mortem and a tight escort of police and the military. Kazin's sobbing wife was driven away by a relative in a different car. Police detectives later searched the house of the assailant and took the exhibits that will help them with further investigations. Major General James Kazini, who survived several bullets in northern Uganda and DR Congo, has this morning succumbed what the eyewitnesses called a 2 mm diameter metallic pipe. However, it is still not clear under what circumstances that the former army commander died. Sudiu Biarhanga, NTV, Namongo.